But before we get into that, and I'm happy to take your calls, let's find out if the stock market is skyrocketing. I doubt it, but who knows? Elio D'Amato joins you from Stockopedia. Elio, how's Monday? Actually, Raf, did you know that they play footy matches outside of Carlton Games during the weekend? Oh, gee, I mean, fascinating stuff. Uh, look, the All Ordinaries, uh, that was actually up, uh, or is up at the moment, uh, 0.4% up quite strongly. Uh, those Middle East tensions, uh, they did rise, and that saw the price in the... Uh, uh, the price of oil, I should say, uh, that did rise over the weekend, but it's still where it was in the middle of the month, so it's not extreme at this stage. Um, also, gold continues to hover near all-time highs, and therefore the Aussie dollar continues to rise. Uh, currently, it's 67.9 US cents, um, and it hasn't been this high since the very start of the year. Uh, iron ore continued to fall also over the weekend. Um, our best sector this morning is real estate, as lower global rates will be good for business and it's a Monday, uh, and our worst is consumer staples, in large part driven by Endeavour, who saw net profit fall 3.2% in line with their previous guidance due to increased finance costs. Uh, this despite sales growing across the group, that is. Uh, in the last uh, week of a crazy reporting season, uh, there's lots of news, but what might be of interest to listeners include Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, whose cash profits have actually fallen 2.6% for their financial year, as heightened competition for mortgages hit it's the bottom line. Uh, this was shown in their net interest margin uh, that actually fell some four basis points to 1.9%. And the stock is uh, currently down around 1.7%. Um, we had online beauty retailer Adore Beauty. Uh, they've swung back into the black this financial year. And it says sales are up thus far 7% this new year. Uh, proving once again that Australian consumers are idiots. Uh, that last bit, uh, Raph, is all mine, by the way. Uh, the stock, though, is currently uh, flat. Oh, no. It's actually a little bit up, up 2.27%. Uh, um, also returning to profitability was Kogan, who despite falling gross sales, returned to profitability after having navigated uh, what it calls two and a half years of turbulence. Uh, the stock is up uh, currently 5.76%. Um, using credit cards to buy stuff is basically the norm these days, uh, as Tyro Payments has confirmed. Uh, it grew in net profit significantly, and it's generating strong free cash flow levels. Um, it also increased uh, the uh, profit forecast that it has for next year as well, and the stock's up strongly, up 12.2% on that news. And finally, Aussie Broadband has recorded a full-year revenue jump of some 26% to just a little under $100 million as a group market share. It even declared a maiden dividend of four, dividend, uh, four cents per share. Uh, the stock is up 8.3% uh, as we go to air. And that was all in our busy market open, Raf. Thank you very much there, Elio. Tomato from Stockopedia.